Designed by Jabo, inspired by Suck My Mod, made by Wismek, the Theorem Atomizer. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Vapor Chronicles. Hello and welcome to the Vapor Chronicles. We're back, this time an atomizer that really had a lot of hands involved in its development. I'm excited with the innovation in this bad boy. Um, it's a beauty. First and foremost, it's a elegant, sophisticated looking atomizer that uh, really can be tailored to what you like. You like it glass and pretty, or do you want to make it like sort of low key and stealthy and protected? You can put this little ring on here. I'm going to show you all that in the up close. Um, single airflow, dual airflow, over the coil, side of the coil, um, lots of flexibility with a raised build deck that's up top instead of underneath and, you know, flavor for days. All right. Affordability, quality, innovation, the theorem. You're in for a treat. I'd like to thank Wismec for sending this to me for free for the purpose of this review. Let's take a closer look. Let's dive in and break it down. All right, so here's the outside of the package. I don't know if this is going to be the retail package or if this is the retail package, but uh, pretty simple. You can see here the info, what's included. All right, so what you get in your kit, you get an extra glass section, which would replace this glass section, this um, atomizer tube. This is not removable, I don't think. I think it's sort of permanently in there. Yeah, I don't think it is. So anyway, so there's your glass section, but this is so well protected, I don't think you'd have an issue with that. In your bag, you get a spare notch coil. We'll explain what a notch coil is and how that works in a minute. You get some extra O-rings, you get some uh, grub screws and your dual coil, or dual airflow, I'm sorry, dual airflow, um, ring and I'll show you how to use that too which is really important so what is the theorem how does it work how is it different what does it bring to the table well this thing packs so much freaking innovation uh, it's really a joy to behold if you're into this kind of stuff I'm an enthusiast I love the vape and I love cool stuff and uh, first things first this thing looks elegant yet mechanical okay uh, analog mechanical I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, little touches like the JBO written into the fill hole plug, uh, the little accents here at the top for the airflow adjustment ring. Um, I even like the color of the um, the O rings. I think they set it off. And to be honest with you, I think this thing is destined to sit permanently on top of this bad boy right here. Tell me that's not super sexy. I love it. So, so <clears throat> I've had, I was never, I started vaping when the Nautilus um, Mini came out. Okay, that was my, my entry to quitting smoking cigarettes and starting to vape. So I never really went with the mesh and uh, stainless, the mesh wicked Jenny style atomizers. So I don't have much experience, but I do have experience with the first avocado, and I also have experience with the Fody uh, RTA. And you know, by the way, I love the Fody, and I, I really like the avocado. But man, wicking those things were such a pain, and there was just little things that irked me and made it more of a challenge to want to continue vaping. This, on the other hand, looks to solve a lot of those issues. All right, classic Wismac on the bottom, five ten. Uh, this is really cool. So the, the tank itself, or the, the glass, or whatever you want to call it, um, is held on to the base and the airflow top by O-rings, okay? The actual build deck is sort of freestanding with these O-rings, and, and, and I'll show you, I'm gonna take it apart, but, um, so wicking this thing, I mean, check how easy this would be, ready? The whole entire deck comes out. It's, it's like an RDA. Now, you'll notice here that 
when you take this top off, and normally you wouldn't do what I just did, that would be for pulling your wicks through and organizing everything, but so normally if you were vaping this and you had this, you know, on your device and you went to go fill it up, you could just grab the top right here and just pull and this comes out. That is so helpful, okay? So that, there's your fill hole right there. That's where you fill your liquid and this is your little uh, blocker, but this is not just that. Also, if you open up the airflow on the second side, which is not, there's your airflow opening right here, and there's another one that can be used if you switch the ring to this ring. You can actually open up both airflow, and uh, you can actually get airflow coming down uh, through this, which is really cool. So you have adjustable airflow from the top. You can see that that sort of moves and the air actually goes in through the side. You can see that hole right there. This unscrews. Everything is removable, 510 drip tip, removable. This is removable. Here, this is threaded. And then you have this ring that's removable also, and that can be rotated. So if you wanna switch rings and you wanna to go to dual airflow, now you have both sides open. This plug is open. So see that plug right there? See that opening? It comes out right there. So if you want to have dual airflow hitting directly uh, on the top of the coil and from the side of the coil, so it's sort of like a, a one-two punch, you can do that. If you don't want to do that, you can use the single ring and you can just hit it from the top or I would assume you could probably hit it from directly on the coil too by going to just that side. I'll try, I'll try all three and let you know what I think. All right, you can also change the airflow as you see fit so it's pretty cool all right so that's all that innovation and it's really awesome the other thing is having this uh, positive center post here that's offset look at this you'll notice that this is actually the build deck your, your two negative posts and then your positive post is actually instead of it being directly centered in the middle it's actually offset a little bit so what it does is it still allows you to have large fill uh, opening here which is great because you can use your standard dripper bottle um, but also it allows you to have nice big wick openings that run down the side which is right here and it just <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really really excited to vape this now another part of this and this was sort of added on is this notch coil. It comes pre-wicked inside the actual tank here and it also, they give you a spare one. And this is what we're looking at here, okay? These are machined stainless steel coils. Not even coil, well, yeah, they're, they're coils, but they're machined stainless steel with the notches machined into them, okay? And, and <clears throat> then you have your leads that are actually stamp welded onto the actual stainless steel coil. So what this does is it gives you the same surface area or probably more surface area than a Clapton coil, but they can keep it nice and thin so it has really fast ramp up time. All right, that's key, ramp up time. I don't know if you'll notice this, but when you're vaping Clapton coils, the flavor is really good, but you need to throw a lot of power at it and hit them hard in order to get them to ramp up. This thing supposedly ramps up super fast, has great surface area, and it should be an awesome coil to vape on. Also, another thing is that since it is, you know, machine stainless steel, it should have a really, really long lifetime. Okay, like a couple months lifetime. We'll see about that down the line. Now, the build deck itself, if you'd like, you can use the negative and the positive and the negative and the positive, and you could easily do um, dual vertical coils. Okay, uh, I know that, uh, you know, I was um, watching the video with Matt and Jabo, and they were talking about, you know, Matt likes big airflow and he likes the dual vertical coils and Jabo was saying that he likes the top airflow, more of the flavor type horizontal and, uh, you know, whatever your pleasure, that's the flexibility that you have with this. So you can do two vertical one and one here, or you can do one horizontal across here. So really, really cool with that. And you can also do your own builds if you want. You know, you want to use, uh, you know, Clapton coils or alien wire or whatever you can fit in here and whatever your imagination allows you. If it vapes good, then I say go for it. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Um, oh, also, 
say you want to go for a more, you know, low key approach, a more protected approach, you could just take this glass section and unscrew it from the O ring. And you could take this sleeve, put it on this way. So the reason for these slots is to see your juice and uh, just slide this bad boy right on there. And that's it. So once you pop your top back on, so you would select You would take your top here like this, you would fill and then pop this back in. And then you would take your airflow piece or ring, pop this on, have it set, grab your top ring, and make sure it's the right way, thread this on, pop in your drip tip, and it changes the whole entire look but it still functions the same way. It's just more protected. All right. So I think it's so badass I can't even contain myself. Uh, if you want to make an adjustment to your wick or take a look at your wick, you can just pull this bad boy off and go right at it. I mean, how cool is that? If you, and, and you know, you would think that, you know, how would you be able to pick which comes off the sleeve or the top? Well, I think as these uh, O-rings get wet and saturated with uh, liquid, you might have to hold the, you know, this down to pull this out, but I, I don't think it's going to be a problem. All right. So I'm going to use the glass because it looks so damn pretty. So let's put that on. And I'm going to wet this wick. What am I going to use? I'm going to go, um, I'm having a cup of coffee, so I'm going to go with some of this s'mores loaded or loaded s'mores okay so let's pop some of this in I'm just gonna get a little liquid in there I don't really give a shit much about getting liquid in there because this is you know this thing has liquid in it all the time so I'm gonna just start this and then I'm gonna fill at the bottom So I think you're going to get the flavor of an RDA with the convenience of an RTA and you're going to get that short distance to your mouth from the, the, the top build deck here. The only drawback really is you're not going to have huge tank capacity. Obviously when your tank's full you wouldn't want to pull the glass section off to adjust your cotton. You'd want to drain your tank first. Alright so I have it pretty wet and filled up. And I can tell you just from firing this bad boy that this coil just fires so even. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but it, it just fires so even from side to side and it's so fast. It's like pop. I'm really excited to vape this. So let's take this. We're going to pop this back in. Very easy. And then we're good. All right. So the tank is full. And uh, the coil's placed. The uh, airflow adjustment's good. And um, let's zoom back out and let's take this for a vape and I'll put it in a couple different setups. All right. Let's do it. There you go, the up close, the coffee. Pretty awesome. When I got this in the mail, I was like, ugh, oh, it's going to be like the Fody. I loved the Fody for the flavor, but I didn't like the Fody for the challenge of wicking that thing and for filling it. This thing solves that, definitely. You want to fill this thing, you just grab your top, pull it off, fill away, put it back on. You're not going to have any problems with wicking after that. It's not going to flood because... There's nothing open at the bottom from airflow. Top airflow, side airflow from, from the top, both. And uh, that's going to help with leaking. Um, accessing your wicking is going to be super, super easy, as you saw in the up close. And really, the only con, and I'm going to put this out up front that I have so far with this device, is the airflow adjustment. Um, it doesn't stick out at all, and there's no notch here. So like to sort of get it centered, like when I tighten the top down, it sort of moves it. And I have to like look really close and find that little slit and I got to sort of untwist, but then the drip tip sort of holds it down. That's the only con. Is it a huge con? Hell no. You learn to deal with it. You learn to hold it and sort of twist it on. Uh, but that is a little bit of a con. Other than that, if you're into flavor, if you're into, you know, uh, small little tanks, if you like dripping, this is, you know, now this is not, by the way, the biggest monster cloud chucker. This is definitely for flavor and definitely more reserved type of vape.
This is single airflow, over the top of the coil, directly hitting the coil and then going up the chimney to your mouth. Now, this is at 52 watts. The airflow is not the quietest in the world, but it's not loud and obnoxious. It's kind of kind of whistles a little bit, but you could sort of adjust that. But the flavor really pops with this thing. Um, if you unscrew this top and make the airflow adjustment over the little Jabo logoed um, port, uh, juice fill port, you can actually create so that the airflow hits the coil directly from the side. And I actually prefer that. I find that you get more flavor and I find that it's quieter. A relaxed, flavorful, sort of uh, sort of a little bit of a resistance lung hit. Not mouth to lung, but sort of, you know, a semi-blocked lung hit with, with it open on one side. But if you take this off and if you unscrew this, which is really easy, and I'm going to fill this while I do it. So let me first change this little ring just like so, and I'll put the dual airflow ring on. Pop this back on. Make sure I line up the airflow holes correctly. By the way, I am loving the notch coil. It just ramps up so freaking fast and it's got great flavor, stainless steel. Um, I haven't used it in temp control. I'm interested in doing that. I'm going to do that as time goes on. I'm going to do some vertical, dual vertical builds and do some, uh, you know, Clapton builds and all kinds of different stuff. This is sort of first look impressions and uh, let you know what I think because I know a lot of you are interested and you've been asking for it. Also, if you're into these coils, they're going to be available for sale to use in all your devices. So if you want to try the notch coil, which I highly recommend because it's pretty badass, uh, they're going to be available. So let me do this. Let me, um, you know what? Let me see if I can do this without leaking. Ah, look at that. Boom. Let's do this. Change the look. We're going to fill. I haven't had any leaking from this. I fill it with the ease. Now, it does drain quickly, but that's just the price you pay for having a little small short little top here like this pop our top back on make sure the air flows in the right position a little harder to see your coils to know your airflow position but if you want to check you can always pop this off take a peek make sure they're lined up and pop it back on and you're good to go all right so same wattage with the dual airflow Now, the thing that is a little bit more challenging with having this cap on, which I don't like as much, by the way, is the joy is if you're not wicking right, you're going to be able to see your wicks getting dry when you're hitting. So it's it's sort of a safety mechanism built in, but this is just nice and protective, and it changes the look, and I, I dig it. Also, when your cotton gets dark from using certain liquids, you don't have to see it all the time with this. Definitely open and airy and still extremely flavorful. I really like it. If you want to adjust the airflow a little bit, and say you want half open on two coils or half open on a single, just tilt it to the side a little bit. And it restricts the draw and quiets it down. So it's great. Flavor for days, I think I, the pricing is going to be super affordable, like in the $30 range, I think. Don't quote me on that because you know the MSRP and what they list and retail and all that kind of stuff has to come into play. But I'll have links below if you're interested in picking this up. Should be available very, very soon. 
its simplicity and its beauty is in its design, and it's designed extremely well by j -Bo. He's an all-star in the vape game. Uh, you know, this RX200, it's my you know top three favorite devices of all time. Um, they just keep killing it. Wismec, Matt, awesome reviewer, awesome channel, and he's actually a really nice guy. I've met him before, so he's killing it. Everybody's killing it. We love vaping, and that's what this is all about. So if you love vaping, if you love flavor, if you like to, you know, build or even not build, just, you know, buy those notch coils. You're going to have a great vaping experience. Excellent flavor. It's just a wonderful experience. Is it for everybody? No, it's not going to be for you cloud comp monster cloud blowers. It's for those vapors that like, like I'm doing after work, a nice hot cup of coffee, tasty vape, flavor for days, and a sexy product. So that's all I can say, guys. Thank you very much for watching the Vapor Chronicles. I have a whole lot more where this came from tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every Thursday on the Vape Team. Mike Vapes, Vape and Fagan, myself. We do it live. We talk about all things. We're going to talk about this tonight, I'm sure. Facebook, we have a private group. Uh, you can also find me on all my social media, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. A lot more where this came from, a lot more in store. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.